Good morning, St. Thomas More. Uh, just a few friendly reminders as we were returned um, in January. Uh, number one is about our washrooms. Remember the washrooms are for using the facilities. It's really important that we're not hanging out in the bathroom stalls or in the handicapped washrooms three or four, four students at a time. They are not a place for socialization. Use the washroom, go in there when you need to use the washroom, but otherwise you should not be hanging out in the washrooms. Reminder about vaping on school property. There is zero tolerance for vaping anywhere on school property, whether that's in the building or outside of the building, anywhere on school property, and it does come with the school consequence of a three-day suspension. Uh, in terms of the start time of class, school begins at 8.10, not 8.11, not 8.12, not 8.15. When the music begins for you to move to class, you should be heading towards your period one classes. At 8.10, when the bell rings for that final uh, start of class time in the morning announcements, you should be in your period one classes. You should never be caught in the hallway. So that is something that everyone needs to work on uh, moving forward. Um, as you know, final exams are very closely approaching. We have approximately 12 school days before exams start. Exams are scheduled to start on January 26th, and that would be the start of the period one exams. On January 27th, um, 29th period two exams on January 30th we have period three exams on January 31st we have period four exams and period five exams are on February 1st this is the time of the year that you ask, actually have to start to focus on your education okay ask yourself have I submitted all my assignments to my classroom teachers am I'm studying for the final tests that are taking place in my courses Am I working on my final culminating activities? Am I doing the final exam reviews that my teachers are giving me? If the answer is yes to these questions, that's great. But if you have outstanding assignments and you're not preparing for your final exams, is now the time that you have to start preparing for them. Speak with your classroom teacher and find out what assessments that you, that you have outstanding and see if you have the opportunity to hand them in. We do have support systems within our schools. You can go to Student Success, you can go to Resource, or ask your classroom teacher. Everyone here is willing to help support you. Reminder that we do have after school tutoring um, for math. So if you're struggling in math, make sure you take uh, advantage of the after school tutoring that takes place on Mondays and Wednesday. If you are a student in grade nine, remember there is lunch hour tutoring on your period three lunch for both math and science. On this note, I wish everyone a wonderful day. Thank you. Good morning, STM. My name is Aaron. And I'm Josh. <clears throat> and here are your announcements for today. Attention more track. For any grade 10, 11, or 12 students who ran track last year, there is an indoor meet at York University on March 1st. If you are interested in training twice a week, you must attend a mandatory meeting after school on Friday in the lecture hall. If you are interested but cannot attend, See Miss Diamond in student success. There will be a junior girls bas volleyball scrimmage today at 3 p.m. Thanks from your coaches. This is an important message for all girls interested in trying out for the senior girls soccer team. The meeting has been moved to tomorrow, Thursday, January 11th, right after school in room 138. Again, if you cannot make it to the meeting, you must see Miss Carboni uh, ASAP in room 138 at any time except period four. This announcement is for all students with an IEP. Please check your school email for an important exam information from your resource teachers. And now for your sports. Congratulations to the Novice Girls Volleyball team on their win against Cathedral last night. A great effort by all. A reminder of our practice tonight at 5 p.m. Please be on time. Thank you from your coaches Tolotson, Barclay, and Abraham. Last night in the game of the night with a packed home crowd, your junior boys basketball team played arch rival Cathedral. After being down by 10 late in the fourth quarter, your junior boys came storming back. Jaden Martin tied the game with two baskets in five seconds apart, sending it to overtime. After the first overtime, the game remained tied, heading into the second overtime. Your junior Knights reeled to win in double overtime 85-50. to And now your junior Knights remain in a three-way tie for first. It's night time. And a reminder that this Wednesday, this Wednesday Rosary, so please come to the chapel after school and join in prayer for the sick in our community. Thanks, STM. STM.
on this audio announcement, the time now is 8.20 and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.